I am pretty excited, okay? And it's not just because it's this dog's birthday. Happy birthday, doggy. Enjoy. I'm also excited because we're going to learn about the properties of addition. Yeah, the properties of addition. Now, what are those? What does that mean? Well, the properties of addition are special things that are always true about addition. They're kind of like secret codes that you can use when you add. Now, we'll be learning three of them. Commutative, associative, and identity. Now, I know they have fancy sounding names, but they're really simple. And who knows, by the end of this video, maybe you'll have a favorite. I like commutative. I like associative. I like ice cream. <laughs> so if you're ready, we'll start with the commutative property of addition. Commutative. That's a big word. Let's say commutative together. Commutative. Yeah. Okay, what is the commutative property of addition? Well, the commutative property means that you can add numbers in any order and you'll still get the same answer. You know, that's, that's pretty cool. Here, I'll show you. Four plus one equals five. One plus four equals five. These numbers can switch places and you still get the same answer. That's the commutative property. 6 plus 3 equals 9. Let's switch these around. What's 3 plus 6? 9. That's right. You can switch these numbers around, and the answer stays the same. That's the commutative property. The commutative property means that you can add numbers in any order, and you'll still get the same answer. That was this kid's favorite, okay? But what about this kid's favorite, associative? What's the associative property? Well, the associative property means it doesn't matter how numbers are grouped when you add, the answer stays the same. The associative property is all about how we group numbers and we can group them however we want. Let's say we're adding one plus two plus three. We can group the one and the two. One plus two plus three. Or we can group the two and the three. One plus two plus three. Either way, the answer is six. Let's check. One plus two equals three. Yeah. And three plus three equals six. Then, 2 plus 3 equals 5, uh-huh, and 1 plus 5 equals 6. That's awesome. It doesn't matter how the numbers are grouped when you add, the answer stays the same. Let's look at another one. Now we're adding 4 plus 5 plus 2. We can group the 4 and the 5, 4 plus 5 plus 2. Or we can group the 5 and the 2. 4 plus 5 plus 2. Either way, the answer is 11. Let's check. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Uh-huh. And 9 plus 2 equals 11. Then 5 plus 2 equals... Yes, 7 and four plus seven equals 11. Isn't that cool? It doesn't matter how the numbers are grouped when you add, the answer stays the same. That's the associative property. So the commutative property tells us we can add numbers in any order and get the same answer. And the associative property says we can group numbers however we want and still get the same answer. But there's a third property we're going to learn about. Remember, the main properties of addition are commutative, associative, and identity. Hmm, 
What's the identity property of addition? Well, the identity property of addition means that when you add zero to a number, the answer is that number. Zero doesn't change anything when you add it because you're adding nothing. Check this out. Four plus zero equals four. That's right. When you add zero to a number, the answer is that number because adding zero means adding nothing. That's the identity property of addition. Okay, how about zero plus seven? Zero plus seven equals seven, yes. When you add zero to a number, the answer is that number because adding zero means you aren't adding anything at all. It doesn't change. That's the identity property of addition. Awesome. Let's go over them again, and then I have a review game for you. There are three main properties of addition. Commutative, associative, and identity. The commutative property means that you can add numbers in any order, and you'll still get the same answer. The associative property means it doesn't matter how numbers are grouped when you add, the answer stays the same. And finally, the identity property of addition means that when you add zero to a number, the answer is that number. Wow. These three properties, commutative, associative, and identity, really are like secret codes that you can use when you add. Well, I think it's time, right, birthday dog? Let's play a quick properties of addition game. I'll show you a property and you tell me which one it is, okay? All right, here is the first one. What property of addition is this? Hmm, it's showing numbers in groups. Uh-huh, the associative property. Yes, the associative property means it doesn't matter how numbers are grouped when you add, the answer stays the same. Great job. How about this one? What property of addition is this? Yeah, the identity property. You got it. The identity property means that when you add zero to a number, the answer is that number. Very cool. Here's the last one. What property of addition is this? Yes. The commutative property. <laughs> Fantastic. The commutative property means that you can add numbers in any order and you'll still get the same answer. Well done. I have to tell you, you did a great job learning about the properties of addition. So if you're ever eating ice cream and someone asks you, what your favorite property of addition is, you'll know what to say. Or maybe not. It's hard to pick a favorite, you know? I mean, I kind of like all three. <laughs> wow, I hope you had a lot of fun learning the properties of addition. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can click subscribe for more videos, to my patrons, my subscribers, and each of you watching. I appreciate you all. You're super awesome. I hope you know that. And next time you want to learn something new, you know I'll be here. I'll see you then.